What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and today we're gonna take a look at the Audio-Technica M70Xs which is an upgrade from their previous M50Xs that I also own. But what's unusual this time around is their price point, a whopping $300 which isn't normal coming from Audio-Technica's. They have a reputation of having amazing quality headphones for a much lower cost compared to its competitors. So I'm really curious about the price jump. I will unbox these and find out if it's actually worth the steep $300 price tag. So the box itself is actually the same style from the M50X model, so nothing new there. But opening it up, you can see some new additions. First off, they included this really nice hardcover carrying case and the usual setup guide and warranty info. I really like the new hardcover carrying case instead of the previous carrying bag since it will definitely provide more protection if you decide to travel with your headphones and it also looks a lot cooler. So inside this tiny pouch, you will find all three cable versions. You have the 1.2 meter cable, which is used for portable devices. And then you have the two 3 meter cables. One of them is a straight cable and the other is coiled. You can add the 6.3 millimeter stereo plug adapter on those two cables if you want to use your headphone amplifier, mixer, or even audio interface. Other than that pouch, you have the headphones inside the case. Now I won't go too much into detail between the 70X and the 50X because I will have a separate video comparing the two, but right off the bat I noticed that the M70X is a lot lighter. The headband cushion also doesn't extend all the way to the side like the 50X does. The build on the 70X also doesn't feel premium at all when holding them at the same time. It feels kind of cheap and stiff, something I didn't expect from Audio-Technica, especially something that's priced this high. So on the headband itself, you will find the brand name etched on there, and it's actually a lot thinner than the previous model, which also contributes to its light weight. The ear cushions are as soft like the previous model, so the comfort is definitely there, like all Audio-Technica headphones. Despite it feeling flimsy, it's actually pretty durable too, so if you have a fat head, you should be fine because these can stretch pretty far. Now the ear cups can turn up to 90 degrees like most headphones and these do a phenomenal job blocking outside noise. Even if the volume is set to only 50%, it blocks out all the noise around me. So how is the actual sound? Well, it's not better, it's just suited for different types of people. The sound is more pure, the 50X has noticeably more bass when comparing the two. The M70X however has more clarity and a much clearer sound. It doesn't have any extra lows or highs, it's just pure true sound. It's basically unenhanced and it has a flat natural sound. So if you're a professional DJ or mix music and want to hear the notes at its purest, then the M70X is definitely for you. However, if you're like me and you enjoy listening to music, playing video games, or watching movies, then I strongly recommend you to stick with the M50Xs. It's definitely not worth the extra 150 bucks. Of course, I can't end the video without giving you guys at least a sample of the headphone sound and I know that you won't know exactly how it sounds because of compression and sound cards and just the type of headphones you are using which is why I'm only going to compare the sound on the M70X with the sound on the M50X so you can at least hear the difference. So without wasting any more time, here is the audio samples recorded from both headphones in a controlled environment.
So I'm sure you guys noticed the difference between the clarity and the bass between both headphones, but my honest verdict, just stay away from these headphones unless you are a professional in the music industry. The price tag of $300 is ridiculous and I feel that Audio-Technica is moving away from the average consumer market by releasing these. So anyways, that wraps up the video. I really want to hear your opinion about this headphones, so please drop them below in the comment section and I will be reading them. And for those of you that are interested in picking one up for yourself because you're a baller, then I will leave a link in the description section for pricing and availability. Anyways, this is Ed from TechSource. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.